Uh, Kate Middleton uh, is who we're discussing next. She's, of course, celebrating her 40th birthday this weekend. She's not splashing out for a big party, as might she well have done. Uh, she's actually keeping it quite low-key, and that's because, of course, of the ongoing pandemic. But the Duchess's fashion will definitely not be low-key when it comes to her outfit choices. The Duchess of Cambridge is always uh, some of the best dresses and accessories out there. Well, to talk some more about all of this, we're joined now by Sarah Louise Robertson. She's a showbiz and royal reporter. A very good morning to you. Look, right from the moment she captured the imagination of Prince William when she was on the catwalk age 20 at St Andrews University, right up until just this last weekend when we've seen her over the royal period uh, dressed out in her best outfit. She always looks a million bucks. In the sartorial stakes, Kate Middleton, Duchess Catherine of Cambridge, she never, ever fails to get it wrong. She is absolutely a style icon. There is no doubt about it. From the moment she put on that beautiful blue Issa dress for the um, engagement photographs with Prince William back in 2010, that was when the Kate effect, as it was called, was, was born, as you can see there on your screen. And that dress sold out within 24 hours. And just from that moment, you know, Kate was on the world stage with all eyes on her and what she was wearing. She is um, a queen at a master, shall I say, at picking timelessly chic outfits we've seen over the years. And her style is something that has evolved, but she prefers to go for a classic elegant look which suits her i mean she could put on a bin bag and look absolutely beautiful the woman has a figure that is made for high fashion and couture you know the height the elegance she's beautiful you know she can she can literally wear anything and make it look amazing and want people to go out and buy it but she prefers you know to keep to a very elegant timeless classic style which we associate her with be it you know the lovely midi dresses um, her nude LK Bennett shoes, which she she mm. seems to favour a lot. And then when it comes to those big events, she knows how to pull it out of the bag. Um, we saw recently the James Bond premiere when she was wearing that stunning Jenny Packham gold gown. Daniel Craig as James Bond was shaken and stirred <laughs> when he bumped into the Duchess of Cambridge on the red carpet. I mean, he I think he told her, you, you look lovely. And there was an intake of breath when he saw how magnificent she looked. And I, when she came out on that red carpet, I just felt, yes, Kate, you have nailed it. You are literally a global fashion icon that can give any so, so Sarah star, Louise, what, what is she like? What is her power as an influencer like? I mean, I know she influences uh, <laughs> Isabel here, and uh, but 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 is that a widespread influence? I, I can't think of a, a single female around my age. I'm going to be 40 this year as well, who dislikes her style. And I remember when she first started going out with Prince William, or it was sort of you know around the time of their engagement. She used to be quite a high street shopper, didn't she? She'd be going to Reese, and I'd be trying to find the dresses that she was wearing because they were quite well with the kind of work I was doing um, and and she's just matured so beautifully through through the decades and I, there was a stage I think she did have a blip and I don't want to be the one to criticise her but she did have a blip but there, it was widely reported that Her Majesty had said that her knee line her hemline needed to be below the knee and she I think she cut a fringe and she went a bit frumpy Maybe it was around the time she was having kids and trust me we've all been there um, but she yes. pulled it back out of the bag she sorted her looks back out I was going to say, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt that. Um, I was going to say, in defence of her, you know, she's obviously having to balance her role, you know, with obviously being a mother, you know, working, her charities. It's, it's a very fine line you have to tread. And she knows one day, you know, her husband's going to take the throne. She is a queen as well of repeating. Um, she loves to repeat an outfit. And this is something she's also a master at, as well as picking these timelessly chic pieces. So... This, when she was in Germany, um, the Queen really likes that she repeats her outfits and her outfits are quite budget friendly. You know, she likes the Kate's thrifty sense of styling. And as you pointed out, yes, she loves to go to the high street. She will mix up, you know, a bit of high street with high fashion. But the Queen likes that Kate is setting a good example to people by, by repeating these outfits. I mean, that was just absolutely beautiful. The Alexander... McQueen, you know, again, launched her onto the world stage. I don't think there's been a wedding dress quite quite like mm. like that. Um, another thing Kate does as well, she's famous for, is she really champions British 
designers and favours British designers, be it Catherine Walker, who her mother-in-law, Princess Diana, was a huge fan of, um, to Jenny Packham, as I said, with the gold gown. Um, Issa, she also loves Erdem. Um, there was a beautiful Erdem gown she wore, I think it was in 2015, for um, a finance do that she was going to. And that was a little bit not really quite her style, but again, she just pulled it off. You know, she just knows how to, to wear anything. And she could wear a dishcloth and it would look well. Um, Sarah Louise, thank yeah. you very much indeed. Sarah Louise Robertson is a freelance showbiz and royal reporter on that. And she knows a thing or two about style. And we're all agreed that uh, uh, the Duchess um, of Cambridge uh, pulls it off very, very yeah, well. We wish her a happy birthday. And